Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Colony Ship. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today in a very advanced stage of our party composition journey. Because we have a lot of loot, I've been looking forward to getting rid of the fly, fly apart, and, um, well, it's, it's good things. We also have Faith over here, whom we have already... Oh, wait a minute. That is me. We have not configured her to do anything. So she has nine intelligence. That's pretty awesome because it's going to allow me to have a bunch of tags. That is very good. And I need her... Do I want to go bladed pistol? I kind of want to. So let's go with bladed first. Uh, she has two points already, so that's pretty good. And she doesn't seem... Oh, yeah, she has armor over here. She doesn't have that much constitution, though, so it is kind of a problem. And she has a lot of... So I would want Critical Strike. And I would want, probably, Evasion. She didn't dodge anything, so... It's, uh, <laughs> it's tough. It's really tough. So she has also Sneak. Yeah, I probably would want to, to go up on Sneak. Be able to... And lockpick. How many points will I be able to spend? Which one do I want? Sneak? Oh, we can have both. Lovely. Okay, we have lockpick and sneak. That is fantastic. Ooh, we can also see their beliefs, or is that just mine? No, that's, those are just mine. Then also, she has feats. Only two of them. But then he yeah, has three. Wait a minute. She's level one? Oh. Yeah, we should have really come here early then. She's only level one. I didn't realize that. I mean, she's not that far back from our own experience, but it's just that Jed has his yeah his his combat was done was tough, uh, but doable, but doable. Anyway, we are ready to go. Let's get ourselves. Let's look at the armor that we got. Let's start off with the least interesting bits: the scrapper coat. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Uh, um, if it's. If it's not all, I can't rearrange it. Aw, I don't like that. Let me rearrange... Why not? I mean, it... It's not inventory Tetris, or is it? No, it isn't. You got scrolls, so... Yeah, there's no reason why. It's probably something... You know, it, they, they didn't think of. Uh, but yeah, so okay, the reason for that is because I like to rearrange things. So we got some coats. This is a 3-2... Oh, that is a nice one. A 3-2-3. Three, three. It's a scrapper coat. Jed has a, sp a scrapper coat. We also got a 2-1, which is a traveler coat. And a 2-3... Ooh. 2-3... That is sweet. The gunslinger jacket. I'm gonna give you... But the, th the problem with that is that it lowers sneak and evasion. Oh, we have another gunslinger. Oh, this also lowers sneak and evasion. Okay, so you got the scrapper coat because you're sort of more melee. Jed also gets the scrapper coat, and uh, we get the gunslinger coats for everybody else. That sounds like a plan. It's pretty straightforward in the name, actually, but that, there we go. So then we have the common respirator, a common respirator issued in the old days for shipboard emergencies. It won't completely protect you from toxic gas, but at least will reduce the damage. And uh, it just adds toxic resistance, and it is a breather, so I'll just put it over there. I'm looking badass as is, so we just go with it. And uh, a helmet over here for um, projectile and melee defense. We already have one helmet. Let's see if we have more better, better helmets. Yes, we do. So, Jed is the one that I do want to have to be at the front. So we got a four-three, we got a two-three, and a three-four. Uh, because the diver helmet is different. This is toxic resistance. Wait, really? Oh, because this is, the, yeah, toxic resistance. So I'm gonna go with the 4-3 over here. Oh, he does. The eyes, it covers the eyes as well. Yeah, resistance optical, that's what that is. Cool. And then I get the helmet. Oh, but it, it, it means I can't breathe. Well, she can get that then. And the bucket helmet. Sounds good to me. Does anybody else have a bucket? No, I have two. Yeah, good, good, good. You guys get that. Uh, we also have shield arm guards over here. Two twos. Those would be worse than the current ones. Yeah, shield arm guards. Ooh, I only have... I have two spare. I don't think they get destroyed. So, good news. We also have raider boots. 
So Jed has Raider Boots, and these are... They do have a penalty. No, penalty is zero. Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. The base is probably just where you start off. Maybe? I don't know. Why would it say over there? If it is. Uh, either way, we have Raider Boots. Raider Boots for everybody? Nope. You need that. And does she have... She has normal boots. So let's go with the Raider Boots. We have Heavy Boots as well. But they're not as good. So let's look and see if she has a, a, a stealth score around here. It doesn't look like she does. So I think we're good. We also have Reinforced Ballistic Vest. Is that something that we want? The Assault Armor is just outstanding. Oh, Sneak Penalty. The base does affect... There's something going on with that. I'm not 100% sure. It's uh, it's kind of confusing how that works. So we're going to stick stick with uh, this. We have a 2-3 over here instead of a 3-3. No, that's good enough. Yeah, the Reinforced Ballistic Vest isn't too shabby at all. We got some smart glasses that can add it to everybody. And uh, I might as well add that to her. And now she's looking ready for the job. We have Scav Arm Guards. Hmm. That's for here, right? Yep. And those are actually pretty good. They are really, really good. So I want you to have these. There we go. And I told you the armor was the least interesting. That's it. That's it. The uh, no, there's also protective sleeves, but that's just normal. It's not particularly. It's not better than our current ones. So weapons. What are we doing? Well, it's only melee, right? She only has melee skills. Bladed and blunt. No, actually, there's two blade. There's two uh, skills. She has bladed specifically. That's fine. Those are the ones that I like. And this is a machete. That is hopefully better than our current one. It looks... Well, it does more damage. Action point cost is the same. Reaction is lower. Graze is lower. But I think, it just in general, it is a better weapon. So I'll go ahead and get that. Uh, let's switch this to weapons over here. And let's see. So do I need... Oh, I, it's unloaded. Everything is unloaded. I No, not ever. No, that looks like a zero, but it isn't. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. Oh, she also has a status grenade. Upon detonation, this grenade generates a stasis field that suspends the flow of time within its blast radius. Anyone caught within it will be frozen in time and impervious to damage. And it only costs three action points to throw, but that's quite normal. So we got an assault rifle. Yeah, we don't have a an SMG, do we? Well, we do have the fly apart, but yeah. A low-cost bull-up assault rifle with a signature shroud and compensator that makes the gun twice as loud. It must be one of them psychological weapons you've read about. Uh, yeah. It could be, actually. We got a truncheon and we have a rifle over here, a normal one. And we also have a camp knife, but that's just it, and a utility bar, which is just a worse version of the truncheon, I think. Well, actually, the... Accuracy of the truncheon is kind of shabby. Is this... No, the accuracy of this is good. Okay, well, that's... Uh, I believe that is... All. We have a flashbang. Let's get it in here. And we also have the keycard. But I, that's just a quest item. So there it is. Now, how do I heal? Is a question that I need answered. Because we need to heal. I assume maybe... Sleeping? I don't actually remember how to heal in uh, the Age of Decadence. I think you can only heal by actual alchemy. Like, you need to go to a doctor and pay. So it probably works the same here? These people are all dead. Do we just come here to the middle of nowhere to to get some uh, some stuff done? Is that what we're doing? You're just coming over here and, uh, and killing people? It's fair enough. So... Who gave me the quest for Faith? Let's go back over here. Was it Earl? Well, the job's done. Foley is dead. Well done. Check back with me in a few weeks. I might have something for you. A few weeks? Can I sleep? Is that actually a thing? I need to do some other things apart from sleeping. 
Uh, there's a bartender over here, some scavs. Uh, let's see, we have a door open over there, but I don't think we can go there. They haven't seen you here before, says the bartender. He sets a beaten alloy mug on the bar and fills it with a black, oily liquid. Uh, I'm gonna drink it. You take a careful sip, fighting your body's instinctive rejection of poison, and wait for the familiar warmth to spread through you. After a few moments, the world is a slightly better place. Mm-hmm. I did come here before, though, I think. Uh, so... Yeah, can I open that? I don't think I can. Maybe through the back? No. May the Lord have mercy on you. And Mercy's Fort is added to my map. Is Mercy expecting you? Asks the guard, taking a break from daydreaming. Nope. Not really. So we need to talk to somebody called... Let me see. Sarah? Hmm. Yeah. Definitely need to talk to Sarah. But there's some. it's somebody else. I'm looking at my notes here. Gia. So let's look for, for that. We're back to our apartment. And there's some people over here that we didn't talk to. We're definitely going to want to talk to everybody before we leave this area. So, ooh. A couple of local junkies are loitering near the entrance to the alley, probably waiting for their next victim. Uh, turn back is not worth it. It is worth it, though. Uh, I just need to save it before... Faith, faith character has... Oh, they level up because we, we find locations. Okay, well, she has plus one tag skill for 20% extra experience. Is that what tag skill means? Maybe? The educated? No, that's a, that's a compound thing. Yeah. Thief, learning increased by 50% on sneak, lockpick, steal, and computer skills. Uh, that's, it's nice, actually. That's quite nice. But, uh, let's add another one. Let's see, maybe focus a little bit on computer? I don't know. Because nobody else knows how to operate computer and electronics. So, let's see what we have over here. Only stealth. Yeah, nothing here for computer. That's a shame. So in terms of stealth over here, we have minus one to noise generation per tile. Action generates half the noise. The Prowler sneaking increased by 10. Yellow tiles range increased from uh, to 30 from, 20, from 15. And moving costs one action point plus two noise generation for tile. That's called Tunnel Runner. I think stealth is a different... It's, it's it, you know, it's actual gameplay. Hmm. Let's go with Artful Dodger over here. Plus 10 evasion, 20% or plus 20 when 7 HP or less. I'm not sure if that's a compounded, if it gets a plus 30 basically because of the plus 10 and then a plus 20. But it, it feels like it isn't. Are you sure you want to dismiss Faith? No, I do not. I want to click on the other X. So, yeah. We're not healed. There's a med bay here, by the way. It's right there. Actually, we should go there. Let's go here and uh, see what we have. No, that is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. Left click, or right click, rather. Sarah! Oh, yeah, you are the one I'm looking for. The woman stares blankly as if lost in thought, with while her metal-capped fingers move across a keyboard that isn't there. You can see she is jacked in with a long, translucent cable running from her half-shaved head to one of the machines. Finally, registering your pres presence, she unplugs the cable from her head and her eyes come into focus. Are you a doctor? I've been trained in the healing protocols, if that's what you're asking, the woman says impatiently, waiting for you to get to the point. Now, the reason why I want to get to Jaya, that's another person that I can steal from, um, is because of the stealing me mechanism. I'm pretty sure because it's yellow, it's not going to give me any bad things. But I'm not going to try it right now. I will get... I will try that later. But uh, what's that data jack for? My neural uplink? It's how I run diagnostics. Only the simple, simplest systems have external interfaces. And do you have any implants for sale? On occasions, when the scams bring me something I can salvage. What do you mean? Where do you think the implants come from? We certainly can't make them anymore. She gives a, lo a look of disgust, but whether it is directed at your ignorance, civilization's decline, or the nature of scavenging is anyone's guess. She says, when the scavs show up to trade, they're always telling me they found some dusty old corpse from the ship's launch. 
as if I can't see the blood on them. Half the time they've managed to break the damn thing when cutting it out. Uh, yeah, where could I find one of these dusty old corpses? In the mission control ruins, if you're desperate enough. Just save some credits for uh, regen when you get back, if you get back. After a moment, she adds, McNeil and his crew hit a jackpot on a zero-G deck the last run. An anti-riot officer with a squad commander implant and a full suit of subdural armor. For once, they showed some sense and dragged the entire cadaver to me. If they tried to hack the body up on their own, the tech would have been scrambled for sure. Hmm. Can you show me how to extract safely? The implants? If you make yourself useful, you can watch me work. Maybe you can learn a thing or two. And actually, I think by... Do we have that as a tagged skill? I think we do. Bio, uh, tech. I believe it is one of our tagged skills. She walks up to a corpse lying on the... Uh, on one of the beds and checks the tag. Motor cortex chip. The dumb bastard over overclocked it, fried the chip, and half his brain. And she points to a patch of blackened skin and burned hair. Still, there might be something worth keeping. She glances at you. I don't have all day, so get to work, will you? And she passes you the saw. And half an hour later... Yep. Well, I'll be damned. The suppressor's still good. With a quick, hard yank, she pulls an intact piece of electronics from amid the cooked brain and ruined circuitry. She drops it in a jar of disinfectant and slaps you on the back with an unwashed hand. Oddly enough, this practical lesson of field surgery and neural implants has been more educational than you expected. Yeah? Uh, anything else I can help you with? Well, I do have an errand that needs running. A fellow by the name of Jimmy Brewster sent word that he has something for me. He owes me 500 creds, so it better be some quality biotech. If it is, bring it here and I'll make it worth your while. If it isn't, I'll deal with Jim, Jimmy myself when he shows up here. And where can I find him? When he's in town, he rents one of the warehouses in Camp Town. E7, I think. Okay, can I ask you something else? Make it quick. Can you fix me up? That'd be 50 credits, she says expectantly. Uh, okay, I, uh, can I browse your wares? Yes, I can. So I suppose that's her stuff. This is my stuff. I suppose I can sell my own things. Although, maybe... Hmm. Let's pay attention to the prices here. I don't know. Oh, I really don't have any medical equipment to sell. And this stuff... That's what she was referring to. Regen. It's not that expensive. I really should buy that. But I'm not gonna, because uh, cause I'm a little bit afraid of that. So, uh, let's see. E7, she said. Well, this is E2, I believe. In fact, the map is probably going to tell me. So, we start off over there. That's E2 right there. Yeah, so that's the thing I saw. So, we're over here. This is A1. Oh. Hmm. How am I going to figure this out? Maybe I do need to get fixed. Hmm. Well, let's let's figure it out. I, I'm, I'm hopeful that... Oh, E1. Okay, that's good news. I'm hopeful that uh, she'll heal me up for free <laughs> once I once I do the mission. Although, yeah, probably not going to happen. We have something over here. What is that? Transmission substation. One of the local landmarks and a popular tourist attraction. Or at least it would be if there were any tourists. An electric transformer. Once intended for the future colony. It's going to be someone else's problem one day. Oh, I found E7. I found it. It is in Camp Town. We have a drain over here. It's right here. Wait, what kind of drain is that? Hmm. Not 100% sure, but yeah, there's a guard there. This is gonna go south, isn't it? Oh man, I'm gonna need healing. <laughs> I'm gonna need to heal before coming here, but it's fine. Oh, wait. What is that? Outskirts. Really? How does that work? Just keeps going. And outskirts has been added, added to my map. Yep. It's just outskirts. It's a new area. Locks can't be picked, though. Oh, it's not a new area. It's the area that... One of the areas that we've been to. I just teleported out of here. Okay. Sounds good. It's this area. 
Although I might get myself into trouble. I don't think I have... Yeah, I can't pick that lock. Uh, wait a minute. Would you be able to pick it? No. Because she has... Uh, she's She's got a little bit better skill. But no, she can't. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's go back to the drain over here and talk to that fella. I think. What are you guys having trouble with? Oh, you're going through here. That is a better way. Yes. You lost, inquires the guard with the scowl. Yeah, Sarah sent me. The scav looks you over one more time, but steps aside without comment. Why the high security? Too many crews are out looking for an easy score these days. We like to shift our merch quickly and quietly. Less trouble that way. The so-called merch consists of three desiccated heads fixed to crude stands, their withered expressions frozen forever in the rictus of their dying moments more than a century ago. Whether they were mutineers or security officers in their day, they stand united now. All three heads sport ocular and neural uplink implants, a rich hull even if half the implants are fried. This one's a sergeant, I think. The scaff points at the dental metal knob embedded in the left temple. A squad leader, maybe even TAC team, if they were lucky. Uh, I will examine the merchandise. While you would need to extract the implants and run some tests to see if they are still functioning, other signs show problems with the tech. Superficial burns indicating a power surge, bone loss around the devices, and scar tissue indicating frequent access for repair. The data jack on the leftmost head is fried, but the ocular seems fine, whereas the ocular on the head to the right has been repaired multiple times and not a good sign, but the data jack looks functional. Out of the three, the Sarge, that's air quotes obviously, is in uh, the uh, best shape. While the ocular was apparently destroyed by plasma fire, the squad leader and data jack show little wear and tear. Looks like this newly promoted soldier barely had time to enjoy his upgrades. And uh, yeah, so Sarah said you have something for her? I owe her 500 credits, so the standard package should cover it, says the scav pointing at the head with the standard gear. So we can focus on the ocular implant or the data jack implant. Uh, I think the uh, the ocular implant might be better. What about the squad leader? Sorry, friend. Gear that rare never stays put for long. Got a buyer on the way here as we speak. As if on cue, the door slides open and a fully armored heavyset man strides into the warehouse. He's trailed by a couple of flunkies, hired, you're guessing, to squawk if anything comes up on his six. The big man pauses for a moment like a predator, sniffing the air and glances into every corner of the room. When his eyes land on you, he waits until his goggles get a read on you, and then frowns. Clearly, this is a man who doesn't like surprises. Which one is mine? He nods at the grotesque heads. So, I want to go with the ocular implant. But, I wonder if I can get the other ones. Sorry, buddy. First, first come, first serve. What's going on here, Jimmy? Asks the newcomer without looking in your direction again. You know how I feel about people wasting my time. It's nothing, Manfred, Jimmy tries for amused, but his voice is sliding down the register towards pleading. This uh, fellow uh, was just making a joke, right, mister? <laughs> With a smile like a rictus, Jimmy's head swivels in your direction and he hisses. Get the fuck out of here now. Nobody talks to you th this way. Nobody. Don't do it, kid, the newcomer says with a relaxed, in, in a relaxed way, as if talking about a risky shot in billiard, b billiards? I don't know how to pronounce that, but yes. And maybe you'll live to see the dawn. Jimmy takes a step back, his hand sliding in an entirely unsubtle way towards his gun. If you follow through, you'll have to fight all five of them. You aren't a violent man, but that fancy implant isn't the kind of thing you just s stumble on in a scav camp. And if these folks are willing to die for it, that only confirms its value. Yeah. So, we are probably gonna die. But, at least we're gonna see what this is. And I say we're probably gonna die because we're probably gonna die. But, apart from the, the likelihood of death, um, there's also the, the fact that we are not really uh, equipped for this. <laughs> We're not equipped for this. Faith is at the front. So we are fighting... Wait a minute. We're fighting Jimmy as well? Uh-huh. Well, 
that's what a throw comes in with. Okay, so uh, that's pretty good. Let's start combat right there. And uh, Evans goes first. And he's got a flashbang. That would be pretty pretty sweet. But I can't... Oh, that, look at the range. Okay, this is important. This is important. Really, really important, in fact. You can throw it on the floor, right? Look at that. Yeah, but you need to have line of sight. Oh, you do. Wait, how does that work then? Oh, it is enormous. Okay, okay. So let's not use that right now. Let's just go with regular shots on Jimmy over there. Although, oh, that guy is blocked. Okay. That is one shot. That is a graze. That is another shot, I think. And another shot. Okay. So, um... You have this. And that is that is good enough. Okay, so you stay put. That is definitely a bad idea what I just did, by the way. So if I move close combat, that's good, okay, kill him. I'm not oh that's a graze, unfortunate. Regular attack. I need fast attacks here. And another one. Okay, that's good enough. And then Titus. Titus, hmm, this guy's gonna have armor for days. So let's just go with the regular shots with this weapon. 26, that's a graze. So armor, can I tell from here? Uh, he took damage then. Minus six. Yeah, that's uh, six armor right there. That is pretty bad, not gonna lie. That is very bad. Can't really do much more. So another graze. And we're just gonna stay still and proceed to die. Ooh! That is very interesting. Okay, so you need to die. I didn't reload his stuff. Uh, he didn't have it fully reloaded. Uh, 21, so I would want you over here. Oh, reaction attack. That's kind of a bummer. 30. Nah. Oh, is that a... No, that's a regular shot. Let's go for an aimed shot over here. Aimed head is eight action points. Let's aim for the arms. And miss. But I sort of expected that. And then we have 30. Let's go for it. 33. This guy might be a serious problem here. Out of ammo, shoot again. And a miss. And then you're going in and... Hi. Hello. I hear you need... Some good stabbings. Okay, so yeah, that's where the power attacks come in. Because he's got too much armor. There it is. They're a little bit easier to dodge. The power attacks are. But that's just how it goes. Okay, so aimed shot for... Uh, legs wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, out of ammunition. And out of ammo as well. Or out of uh, action points. Yeah, these grazes are... Okay, that's how I die. All right, your adventure ends before it begins. No, we've been we've been at it. It's, it's fine. Okay, so we are potentially we're we're gonna get that for for uh, for Sarah, but I do want to find Gia or G or whatever, and because uh, it's for stealing, and then I want to I want to steal things. Jonas, let me look around a little bit more. Zeke, what's up? A thick man with an unkempt beard is attempting to beat an electronic display into submission, reminding you of a bad-tempered spirit from old Earth folklore called Bear. Right now, he's stabbing the cracked screen with one blunt finger and cursing as it repeatedly flashes red. I tried adding new transformers to the grid, he says as you approach. It ought to work, but I think this fucking thing just doesn't like me. Let me take a look. No, I'm bad at electronics, though. You bypass the on-screen protocols and attempt to force the software to accept more transformers, but no dice. The generator was intended for deployment on Proxima B, and all 
the operational variables are configured for the future colony. Since the OS isn't receiving input from colony-related hardware, such as mobile ore extractors, probes, sniffing out metal deposits, biomass converters, and a host of other things too vital to ignore, it limits all non-essential non use in the meantime. Ask Faith to take a look. The grid can't handle more, says Faith. If you have an override module, we could try resetting the system. An override module, eh? Factories bound to have something like that. If you can slip by the raiders, that is. Huh, we don't have enough power? The generator produces plenty of power, but the OS is a bunch of exotic safeguards. Every parameter and input is dictated by the big plan for the colony, so every time I try to make a change, the OS throws a fit. If we can manage to add more transformers to the grid, that'll hold us for the next little while. The bigger problem is heating and air. This cargo hold was never designed to house so many people, or anyone at all, if it comes down to it. Portable air purifiers keep the air more or less breathable, even if it would leave an Earth-born gasping on the floor and complaining about his rights, but that's only a temporary solution. We need a, to fix the old purifier to set us up for good. Then there are the defenses to worry about. The bigger the town gets, the more likely the habitat will come knocking again. Uh, yeah... Anything I can do to help? If you could supply an oxidizer for the air purifier, that would take a load off my tortured mind. The kind of thing I can pick up at the store? Sorry, I was just ruminating. The towers over to the uh, hi to hydroponics must have one. Or at least they did at some point. Best check there first. Hydroponics. I believe that is not... I don't think that there's a map that we have. I don't think we can go there in this early access version of the game. But the mission is there. Maybe. Maybe we can. Hmm. Look at this big engine. It looks like an engine anyway. It looks like a car engine. Yeah, but you're not Gia. I'm looking for Gia. Gia might be over there. Let's go to the Church of the Elect. Oh, we don't have that in our minimap. Do we not? Now we do. Okay. So, I think she's over here. Let's save the game just in case. You pick the lock. A woman is half asleep in an old worn out chair. Ha a half empty bottle of whiskey on a makeshift table in front of her. When you take another step, she opens one eye and glances at you. The Lord giveth, sighs the woman and reluctantly opens the other eye, forcing herself awake. How'd you like to make 500 credits for five minutes of work? Why me? You passed two tests, says the woman, reaching for the bottle. First, you pick the lock on my door. To be fair, the lock is shite, but it still takes some skill. Second, you clearly have a certain moral flexibility. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Uh, what do you want me to steal, then? A key, grins the woman. How else are we going to get in? I... Uh, why steal a key when you can pick the lock? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Just because you can pick this lock... She nods at the door. Doesn't mean you can pick any lock. Some locks are way too tricky. Others are hardly locks at all. At least not in the conventional sense. And why do you need me? He knows me, so he'd be on guard. That's why I need you. Who's this mysterious him? His name is Samson. Ex-military by the looks of him. He favors Jonas's establishment, but he's awfully tight-lipped even when drunk. My guess is he came into some money, not entirely legal, and decided to disappear. Can't find a better place than the pit, eh? He keeps a low profile and rents a cheap room, but it's all an act. I saw him skulking around in the outskirts one day and followed him. He led me straight into his stash, but it's locked tighter than a steel drum. Oh, I might have been trying to open it before. So how do I steal his key? Easy, let me show you. And she basically teaches us enough steel. Basically, she gives us four slots of steel, so that's pretty awesome. Wait right here, then. Uh, that is fantastic, actually. We can go to Whiskey Jack and steal his stuff. I think, because there was a steal, too. Um, was there a... Was it not here? It was... Somebody had a steal, too. Uh, either way. What can I get you, asks Jack. Here's Jed's debt, paid in full, minus my fee. And that's 950 credits. Thanks, Titus. Here's something extra for your trouble. And he gives you a couple of combat stims. Thank you. They are aggro... Both of them went over there? Or, or did he just give me one? 
I don't know. We gained experience. That's what matters. Faith is gaining quite a lot of experience. So that is also pretty good. Yeah, but there was somebody that I could steal from, and I will, before I even consider whoever... Oh, Samson is here. It wasn't Sans Samson. Was it Caleb? Hmm. I don't think I lost the opportunity. But hey, Samson. What's up? Samson gives you a sharp look when you move next to him, clearly fighting the urge to tell you to piss off. Uh, well... Let's order a drink to put him at ease. Seeing that you're just another customer, Samson relaxes and switches his attention to one of the serving girls. I'm gonna work my magic and fail. You couldn't get him. Oh, I can try that again. But look at that, it doesn't actually... It's not like the other one. Or like the other dialogue skills. It doesn't make me be better at this. There's things up here that I didn't realize there were. Yeah, it doesn't make me be better at this. It's just, you, you can't do it. As long as you're not, you're not passing the check. Hmm. Frank Boswell Gunsmith. We have Cole's gadgets. Was it Cole? Hey, Cole, what's up? Name's Cole, says the proprietor. I need a brainwave. Wait, did you? You're not Abe. I mixed up Cole with Abe. You know how it goes with the names. They are similar. <laughs> the name Skull says the proprietor, a dark-skinned man in his 40s sporting an optical implant and a data jack. What can I do for you, friend? I need a brainwave disruptor. Cole stops stacking and unstacking a pile of loose microchips and looks at you with real interest. Earth-made relics come pretty dear these days, especially anti-riot gear. The ship authority shot their whole load at the mutineers. Do you have one or not? Yes and no, says Cole, reaching below the counter. He produces a small metal globe, the outside of which is covered in intricate designs suggesting a circuit diagram. Twisting it open, he reveals a hollow space in the center of its densely packed electronic innards. It needs a new core. I don't have one in stock, but I know someone who does. I feel like I've heard that story before. Now, the only place to get a replacement core is the factory. The easy pickings there were gone before you were born, but I happened to come into some information. Knowing precisely where they could be located, I sent a man to fetch them for me. Name of I I Isaiah Davis, I believe is how we pronounce that. But the son of a bitch is smarter than I thought. He got the cores using my tip, but refuses to sell them to me. Cole starts scrubbing at the lens of his left eye with a tiny cloth, waiting for you to figure out what he's asking you to do. So you want me to... I want my three cores. Bring them to me, and the disruptor is yours, and don't tell me how you obtained them before, because I don't care. Okay, can I ask you something else? What can I do for you? It's the buying and selling? What the sign says, says the man, pointing at the door. Cole's gadgets. Yeah, what kind of gadgets? Grenades are my most popular item. He produces a dented metal cylinder the size of your fist. I've got the plain old flashbang, gas and smoke and anything you need. They aren't as fancy as the relics, but they sure can get you all out of a bind. Yeah, I might actually need one of these for, for the fight that's coming up. I don't want to use the stasis field. That, thing's, that thing is uh, way too powerful. And what do you mean by relics? Old Earth toys, time warp gizmos, brainwave disruptors, pulsed alternators, all the science magic. Unfortunately, it's all in limited quantities, even if you find someone who knows how the stuff works. There aren't any facilities on the ship to produce it. Time warp. The layman call it a stasis field. Pointed at someone and the illusionary experience we think of as time will slow to a crawl for them. Brainwave disruptors cause debilitating hallucinations. Pulse alternators will, will fry any electronics that aren't shielded. The ship is safe from this sort of low-level sabotage, but be careful not to set one off near your own toys. Okay, that's actually a bit of an issue, because you're saying that it's the perception of time that slows to a crawl, which would make them slow, or, I mean, something would happen to them. They would just not move and do things. But that means that robots and stuff like that don't get affected by that. Because, you know, it's the experience. Huh. Or he is just full of shit. Which is definitely possible. Um, what else you got? 
Combat tech and implants. He taps the data jack on the side of his head. The good stuff extracted with care and rehabilitated for my more moneyed customers. Extracted. You know how they don't make new ones, so where do you think they come from? Now take a look at this beauty. Cole dangles a small ball made of some smooth, shiny substance from a bundle of ultra-thin translucent wires. As it slowly pivots, you see on its reverse side a much worn barcode in brown spots that look like dried blood. Excellent pedigree, says Cole. For previous owners, no registered complaints, and still performs up to factory specs. It's a basic model, though, which is why I'd be willing to practically give it to you for 500 credits. What is it? Cole shows you the recessed lens on the underside, the pupil of the device, ringed by an impossibly blue iris. This is a third generation alter, alter, alternatics module. This, uh, is that like tactics? Or ta mm. This particular unit used, or it's not too, too sophisticated, but it's upgradable like all the best tech and it has autofocus, which comes in handy in a firefight. Okay, well, uh, I suppose, I can't actually buy that, which is interesting. No, he's just trying to sell it to me. It's here, right? Is it? He didn't, he didn't actually sell it to me. Hmm. So, we know these are gadgets. Well, are they gadgets? I'm trying to see if the prices change based on the person. Because it's 10 bucks, and we're going to base that off of somebody else. Distortion field. Yeah, it is a gadget. No, it's gog goggles. Distortion field. Oh, is that the pupil? Designed for rapid response operations, a personal distortion field generator makes it difficult for enemies to target its user. Difficult, but not impossible. Yes. These are gadgets because you throw them. They're like grenades, or you use them, rather. Hmm. He doesn't actually sell the thing that he said that he sold. Well, I can't steal from him. And there's good reason why I wouldn't. Frank Boswell. I wonder... I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if I saw it on camera. The still two. Looking for anything in particular? Asks the storekeeper with an unconvincing smile. His face is unshaven and smudged with oil. I did not see it on camera, actually. I saw it off camera while I was messing around. It's right here. Help myself to some ammo. Absolutely will do that. And I'll, I could distract the storekeeper while Jed pill for some ammo as well. Let's see if we can do both of those things. So, first off, you manage to distract the storekeeper and grab a handful of 9mm rounds from one of the crates. Well, I guess that's that. Uh, I'd like to buy a gun. A wise decision, says the storekeeper, nodding approvingly. What kind of gun do you fancy? It's... I uh, would... Uh, anything automatic? Machine guns! Sure, I do have a few in stock, but keep in mind that bullets aren't free. So you'd better have deep pockets if you want to spray and pray. Different gunsmiths have different ideas on which design is superior, but no matter how you look at it, you still have three main categories. One-handed, with the magazine housed in the grip. Range is short and accuracy is nothing to brag about, but it's fast and will give your enemies nightmares in close quarters. At the other end of the spectrum, you have the assault SMGs, which are more like a rifle than a pistol. Built for range and accuracy, you need to keep your distance to be effective. The stock makes for better stability, but they are slower to aim and fire. And in the mid in the mid range, there are the compact SMGs. They don't excel at anything, but don't have any significant drawbacks either. Uh, I suppose that's it. What about energy weapons? The store keep laughs politely and then stops when you don't join him. Hope oh, we've run out of energy cells a long time ago. The guns aren't much good without the cells, are they? Run out, why? Well, says the man, scratching his stubble. The mutiny drained the ammunition depots pretty fast, and that was, what, a hundred years ago? They stocked the ship with weapons to scare off the primitives and secure our colony, not to fight a civil war. I'm sure there are a few, uh, a few leftover cells here and there, but they're worth a lot of money, and only a fool would use them to charge a gun. Luckily, there are less fancy, but still effective alternatives. I take it you can't make more cells? Do I look like a plasma physicist to you? As far as I know, nobody's making energy cells anymore. What about recharging energy cells? Of course! 30 years I've been a gunsmith and I never once thought of that. He shakes his head at this foolish oversight. <clears throat> Let me just uh, tell the protectors to land the ship, break her down for parts and fire up the factories. In the meantime, though, how about you take a look at this fine piece of worksmanship? He produces a rusty pipe with an attached grip. Ever heard of the gun that won the West? This is its exact replica. 
but twice as deadly. The West was one with a gun made from scrap metal? It was indeed, says the man without blinking an eye, but let's save the history lesson for another time. Uh, do you have any uh, more sophisticated weapons than a pipe gun? What's wrong with a pipe gun? The gunsmith stands a little straighter as if offended. A bullet from a pipe gun will kill you just as dead as any other kind of bullet. Uh, but if you want to waste your money on something fancy, go ask around the habitat. They've got all kinds of fancy over there. Why not make better guns here in the pit? You see anyone here who'd pay a thousand credits for a high quality piece? You take your pipe gun, shove it in someone's face, pull the trigger, it'll do the job just fine. Providing it, it doesn't explode. Hmm, what about pistols? Accuracy requires a long barrel. It'll slow you down a bit in a fight, but gives you a bit of an advantage at distance. If you want to unload in a hurry, use a revolver. A timeless classic, but less accurate at range. If you're the sort of person who can't stand to lose an argument, I suggest uh, our third option, extra barrels. Awful slow to reload, but if you empty all four chambers in someone's face, you should have the rest of the day to do so at your leisure. <laughs> what about a rifle or shotgun? Where do I start? He looks over his wares carefully. A sawed-off shotgun is a good choice for the novice. You just point it and pull the trigger. But unless you're damn close to the target, you'll get nothing but a bang and a flash. For better accuracy, try this long arm. Harder to handle than the sawed-off, but the most accurate gun here. Then there's this multi-barrel gun, shotgun. Don't worry about the rust. Elbow grease will take care of that. The stopping power is second to none. The range isn't too bad either, as long as you remember it isn't a precision weapon. Mm-hmm. So... The price here is the same, so I'm just going to say that the prices are all the same, and I am going to sell all of the things that I don't... Yeah, there it is, so you can see how much you're selling of each. Just sell all of these. Uh, truncheons and knives, all of them. The bolters. We're not going to use them, although probably should keep just the one. Can I right-click? I can right-click. And then the suicide specials. And the revolver over here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need the flyer parts. This one I'm going to keep, just in case. We might be able to fix it. And uh, I think everything else is good. I might keep that one. Heavy boots. Definitely sell the protective vests. And the ballistic vest. Wow, we're making a lot of money out of this. Are we? I actually don't know how much we're making. Let's see. 440. Oh. It's traded automatically. Uh, I did make like 500. Okay, that's not too bad. And now you have all... Oh. That's a better version of our current bulldog, isn't it? Ours is, is rubbish. A multi-barrel pistol. It's a thing? Hmm. And of course we have armor. Nothing that seems better than what we have right now. Which makes sense. And a lot of bullets. Okay. Well, I took your ammo. I got a little bit of training. Which is good. But unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to to do much more than that, am I? Oh, that is the other thing that I was given. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, let me continue looking around for... Uh, well, there's an armor trader down there. Looking around for more people to steal. Uh, I'm going to do that in, off camera. And then in the next episode, we're going to uh, continue the, looking around for it. I said steal. I'm not going to steal people. I'm going to rob people. The... Two words mean different things in English. It doesn't mean different things in my own language, but there it is. English playing its tricks on me. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Colony Ship. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.